In this video, I will show you how to join live meeting sessions with the instructor and your colleagues using Zoom. Once you are provided with the Zoom link, you can click on it. You will be redirected to Zoom webpage where you have to log in and eventually you have to uh, download Zoom if it is not yet installed. This is going to take only one minute. From your mobile device, you can do the same. So please let me show you. But first, I will launch the meeting as an instructor. I've prepared this one and I've already posted the link on Google Classroom so that I can show you the student side. Most probably your professor will allow you to join the meeting before it is started by the instructor. So now that I have uh, my mobile device ready, I will go to Google Classroom. You are seeing here on the right hand side. I'll click on the link to launch the meeting Zoom. The first time it will be open automatically with your web browser if you don't have Zoom. I highly recommend that you prepare it ahead of time. This will redirect you to the Apple Store or to the Google Play Store so that you can install the application. In case it's already uh, installed on your device as I have it here, just click on the icon and Zoom will launch on your mobile device. So now the instructor will have um, a notification about a new participant who is joining the meeting. And actually, um, if I activate the video on the student mobile device, I can actually uh, view uh, uh, the student uh, if he is going to ask me a certain question. At any moment, the uh, student microphone um, uh, can be muted by the instructor. If the student would like to ask a certain question, they can raise their hand. In this case, uh, the instructor will get a certain notification and in the participant tab, they see this raised hand. They can lower the hand, activate the microphone and allow the student to ask any question they would like to do. Suppose the student would like to um, uh, show the screen to the instructor from the mobile device to ask a certain question on it. Well, there is the share button that you see in the middle on the mobile device. Using this share button, you can send photo, documents, um, anything you can think, think of. And in addition, you can also uh, start sharing your screen. You will see that on the instructor side, the screen uh, of the mobile device of the student is shown. So the student can go to whatever part they want and they can actually highlight the zones that you they want uh, uh, to ask about they can annotate and so on and so forth. And once they are ready, they can stop sharing um, the, uh, the screen. The instructor can also do the same thing. Here, I'm going to share uh, the slides that I already prepared. Or I can also show a whiteboard. In this case, I'm going to share the whole screen with the student. So let me click on share. And now on the mobile device of the student, uh, you can see that the screen of the instructor is fully displayed. If the instructor is uh, viewing certain slides, they will actually appear in front of the student. And when they, the instructor goes from one slide to the other, this will be shown on the mobile device of the student. The a uh, session could be recorded by the instructor and uh, you will be notified of this on your screen. You will see the uh, recording mention. And at the end, um, if the instructor would like to upload the uh, recorded video to the uh, classroom page so that you can follow it up, even if you had uh, disc intermittent disconnections, then this is completely feasible. Well, I hope that with this demo, uh, you would get a clearer idea about how things will work during this spring semester. And I hope uh, that this gives you the exact high quality education that you used to have face to face. 
thank you for watching and I hope that you will participate with us in making this semester a successful one.